This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology student course. In this lesson, we'll learn how to apply operations to matrices. In a calculator application, it's best to define matrices first before using the matrices and calculations. Matrix A, press Control Templates. This is one way to define variables. Press Menu, select Matrix and Vector. Select Create, select Matrix, the template is 2x2, two two. we could modify the dimensions, but we're entering a 2x2 two two matrix, press Enter. You can use the tab or arrow keys to move to the next entry fields. 3, Tab, 5, Tab, 2, Tab, four and press enter. Let's evaluate 3A. A is bold as matrix A has been defined. Press enter. Let's insert another matrix. Matrix B, a two by two matrix. B, control templates. Press Menu, select Matrix and Vector, select Create, select Matrix and press Enter, negative 6, tab 1, tab negative 3, tab 7, press Enter. Just a reminder that all variables that have been defined can be accessed using the VAR key. Matrices A and B. Press Escape. Let's evaluate 5A plus 2B using the VAR key. 5, VAR, select A, plus 2, VAR, Select B and press enter again. Let's evaluate A multiplied by B. Press enter. Let's determine the inverse of A. A exponent negative 1 Press Enter. Let's calculate the determinant of matrix A. Press Menu. Select Matrix and Vector. Select Determinant. And Matrix A. Press Enter. There are other operations and calculations with matrices. Press Menu. Select Matrix and Vector. Use the up arrow to be at the bottom of the window. Select Vector. Unit Vector, the cross product, and dot product, and others. Press Escape. Press Escape. We're inside the first menu of the menu keypad. Select Matrix and Vector. Select Create. Select Matrix. Useful hints. For example, we're going to enter a 3x4 matrix and when creating the matrix, we press Enter before we change the dimensions. Instead of starting again, or if in the process of inserting your elements and you realize you need another row or column, let's just press enter. Let's add elements two and seven. Let's go back to where two is. Pressing the return key or carriage return inserts a row after where the cursor is placed. On the calculator, pressing and holding Shift 
and then the return key inserts a column after where the cursor is placed. Be sure to check out more of the videos in this series. Thank you for watching.